So I got a lot of questions and comments asking about prices and costs on my Kotonu trip based on the last video that I posted. Now if you haven't seen that video, please pause this one and go see that one first. So in this video, I'll be telling you how much each component of my trip costs. But first, let me do a full disclaimer. Your eventual spend absolutely depends on you. But of course, I'll tell you areas where you can cut costs. Please note also that my trip was a while back, which was early 2023. So the exchange rate was different, there were inflation considerations and things like that. Another thing is that most of my choice was influenced by family because I went with my baby. So things like where we stayed, mode of transportation and things like that were suited to our convenience as a family. So if you're going as a solo traveler or group of friends, your costs might be different. Lastly, if you haven't watched the full video, like I mentioned, you need to watch that first for this one to make sense. I'll link it in the description so it's easy for you to find. Now let's get started. I went with ABC Transport, but there are a number of other transport companies that you can also go to Kotonu with, like Chisco or God is Good. So you might want to sample prices and compare to get the best price. If you decide to go with your car, I'm not certain of all your costs, but I guess the chief would be fuel costs. You would also need permits for your car to be driven across the border. You can hold some extra cash to buy food or snacks on the way, but it's not a very long trip so you may not even need to buy anything else till you get in The hotel choice was informed by the fact that I went with family. So you can choose a smaller apartment if you're traveling solo or if you do not need a kitchenette, for example. The apartment came with a kitchenette, so that means that we could make our own meals. It came with cookwares, pots, pans, dishes, and it made it easy to cook meals. So here's an area where you can save costs by cooking your own meals. They provided us with gas at no extra cost. You can also save costs by managing your electricity consumption. We paid for electricity separately based on the units we consumed during our stay. For the sites we visited, all was free. The beach, unlike in Lagos, was free. Seeing the monuments and statues was also free.
Traveling to Ida was the only other expense I think we incurred. We had to hire a vehicle and a guide from Kutunu town and that cost came to about 15,000 Naira. But seeing the actual historic sites in Widal itself was free. There are a lot of street meals to pick from and if you do not mind, you can try out a variety of them. They are tasty and quite meaty and so you may not have to cook so much or visit restaurants so much. But for the restaurants that we visited, on the average it was about 7,000 Naira by head for a full meal including mocktails and drinks. Also find affordable Nigerian dishes. For example, we were able to get a goosey soup with goat meat and a swallow of our choice for less than 1,000 naira per plate. Cost of transportation within the city is very similar to what you will get in Lagos, except maybe slightly cheaper, say by 10 to 15 percent. Lots of souvenirs from the Atsana Center, but that is definitely up to you. I wanted to just take some memories of Kotono with me, so I think that I spent another 10 to 15,000 naira there. I got a bag and some bracelets. Oh, before I forget, you will need to buy a SIM card and don't forget to change your money into Cephas. Exchange rate as at the time I was at Cotonou was about 1 Cepha to 1 Naira. So that's it. But if there's anything else that you would like to know, you can leave me a comment. Let me know if this video was helpful.